at Hot Spring, we are using the primary sanitizer as chlorine granules. We are aiming for a free chlorine reading of between three and five parts per million or milligrams per litre. My first example is I have a hot tub with 250 gallons of water, I have a free chlorine reading of zero, and I need to achieve a reading of five parts per million, so I am in fact going to use the chlorine granules at two and a half teaspoons per 250 gallons of water, added directly to the filter compartment with the water running, will achieve the desired reading of five parts per million or milligrams per litre of free chlorine. Our second example is I have a slightly bigger hot tub with 500 gallons of water. Again, I have a free chlorine reading of zero and I need to achieve a reading of five parts per million or milligrams per litre. So this time, for 500 gallons of water, I'm going to add five teaspoons of chlorine granules to raise from zero to five parts per million stroke milligrams per litre to achieve my desired reading. Our final example is a hot tub with 400 gallons of water. Again, to raise the free chlorine from, to five, we're going to add four teaspoons of chlorine granules to achieve five parts per million. However, on this occasion, we've actually got a reading of 2.5 free chlorine. So in this case, we're going to erase or top up the available free chlorine. So we're just going to add two teaspoons of chlorine granules to achieve a reading of approximately five parts per million milligrams per litre. The next section is shock dosing your water and you're going to shock dose on a weekly basis. And the reason to shock dose the water is to eliminate and to oxidise any waste contaminants in the hot tub water. And to shock dose your water, we are in fact going to use the non-chlorine shock granules. So in this case, we have a hot tub with 500 gallons of water and we're going to add the non-chlorine shock granules to shock oxidise the water. This time we're going to use tablespoons rather than teaspoons, so one tablespoon per 100 gallons of water. So I have a 500 gallon hot tub. I am going to add five tablespoons of non-chlorine shock granules directly to the filter compartment with the water running and I can get back into the tub having shock oxidised the water.